because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Colin McGuigan for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Josefa Iqbal in Belfast, Ireland. Josefa, you're no uh, stranger to a Michael Condon fight week. Does this one feel any different than before? Yeah, uh, actually, it, 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 there's, there's something in the atmosphere. And inshallah, it feels very homecoming. We were there in Nottingham when a lapse of concentration affected Michael's dreams of becoming a world champion. What have you seen differently from him in camp? What have you seen differently from him as a as a person this time around as well? I think I think Mick applies himself at level hundred on, on every occasion. But and Mick's a very honest and truthful guy. He, he everything he talks is the truth. And uh, he will always find a space, right? And he will always find more room for more effort. And I feel that he's just done that. Little, little, little things. Are you with me? Like you can't, you can't explain them, but they're there. Um, they're just little things that he's been doing. Do you know what I mean? And uh, it's just him that needs to turn up fight night and do his thing. You've been around him in camp. You've been, you work alongside him because you're also the coach of Kurt Walker. So every day in the gym, you see him. This time round, does it mean more to Michael to become a world champion because of? The adversity he's faced throughout the defeat, the Lee Wood, for example. Yeah, I think so. I think um, obviously it's it's another day in the office for me. But having given last week's uh, losses over in Dublin as well, are you with me? I think like he knows he needs to bring it home for for the Irish and and bring it home for him. Um, and inshallah, he will do that. Uh, it's his dreams, man. He's not here for. I think I I believe no matter what, he's never here just for a quick payday. He's here for more than that, and he, I, I believe he's here for legacy. And I think he will do everything and anything to achieve that, inshallah. How do you think this fight goes? Can you give us a prediction of how you think it ends? Inshallah, I think Michael stops Lopez in the later rounds. I genuinely, genuinely believe from the bottom of my heart, inshallah, he stops Lopez in the later rounds. Inshallah. Let's talk about your charge, Kurt Walker. Going from strength to strength and moving on nicely throughout the, the opponents that he's facing. Jamie's mentioned Isaac Lowe in the future. Are you happy with Kurt's progress thus far? Yes, 100%. There's little things, right? Like, until fight night, you never know uh, what fighters are actually going to do and how they're going to perform, right? It's only things in the gym that you practice, and then it's like for this whole first year, so to say, just going past the first year. It's been all building that relationship with Kurt, where it's like doing the things that we've done inside the gym. Does he trust to do those in the ring? And he's shown that. Are you with me? Me and him, especially coming off the last one, we've had some very, very tough, tough fights where it's like, I believe it's it's almost proven our relationship as well. H-boxing. Uh, H-boxing. That's, that's the sensei there, man. That's the sensei. But um, especially coming off the last one, it was really tough. And it was like... Ooh, it, I think it was the first fight where I really had to apply myself as a coach to him to be like, listen, turn south on this kid, do this, do that. And to see him do those things and trust the process and get through a tough fight like that was amazing to see. It's done, it's done mine and his relationship a world of good as well. And um, I love how Jamie and Mick are, are, are steering him in the right direction. They, he's had tough fights, he's had, he's had awkward fights, he's been in there with someone very awkward, been in there with someone very tough. And every time we're just making sure that he's got something else to add to his game. Every time just trying to add to his game. And he's done a perfect job of that. This one, this one tomorrow, I would like to see him hold centre ring a little bit more. It's not about him going in there and totally just smashing people at this stage and do all of that. He needs to enjoy knowing what the feeling is of going all the rounds. And um, number one, what's it feeling like to do this amount of rounds? Can he technically put together what he's been practising on? And then later on, we can start working on the whole trying to, you know what I mean, impress the punch. Jimmy referred to Isaac Lowe. Where do you want to see Kurt by the end of 2023? Is Isaac Lowe a realistic opponent for him? Yes, 100% Isaac Lowe is a realistic opponent for him. Um, at the moment, look, we've we, we done the first eight-rounder uh, uh, in Galway. We've done our first eight-rounder, um, which, was, which was an amazing experience. I think that was an excellent experience for eight rounds. 
that was an amazing experience. Um, we're down for six tomorrow, right? Um, he has to be top bill of the show back in Ireland, hopefully this year. I think I want him to own that first. I think that's the first thing is him going overseas. There's talks that maybe we might go to on Baturbiev's card next one, maybe, and hopefully uh, come back to Ireland and um, be top of the bill. I think after that, right, is where is where we let's start talking like names and 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 strategic plans against certain opponents. If that's Isaac Lowe, I think that's a beautiful match. I think that's a beautiful match. Um, you know what I mean? Lowe, Lowe's good. He's, he's he's got good pedigree, and I think that's what I'm saying now. Now we're in that direction with Kurtwitz. Now we can start looking at names, and now we can start studying fighters and seeing what chinks in in other fighters' arms that they have. Well, Hitch, before I let you go, any message? I know you're a, a, a big man for a message on Fight Week. Any any message for the Michael Condon fans, the Kurt Walker fans that are watching this? Mick is better than what you know of him. And I swear to God, can I say something as well, right? Like, genuinely, I come out Fight Week, right? And I hope Mick looks back at this as well. You know, Mick never, it's all about Mick. Mick never ever makes it about him. You know, like he'll, he'll go the other day, he's sending me halal food places. And after that, like he, he'll always make sure everyone's kit is correct. Everyone's seat in the arena is proper. He carries himself 100, man. And this is when I say like, there's no one who deserves it more. If you're a Mick Conlon supporter, support him with all your heart. Pray that he gets this world title and inshallah he does because like I said, what what Adam Booth and the whole team have put together here in this whole fight week, this is entourage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He, so I, I know he's gonna smash it. I don't need to say nothing. I, I want him to do the business and own it. Are you me? I just said to him downstairs. We're downstairs eating, and I said to him, bro, every great fighter has to have a proper Mexican to his name. Are you me? Every great fighter has to have a proper Mexican to his name, and not one that talks English either. One of those proper authentic Mexicans. Are you? He turns up with his translator, and he's got that in Lopez. So he's gonna do the business. Kurt's gonna do the business. Inshallah, come Saturday. BT Sport, they're going to do the business. A massive, massive shout out to the sponsors, Paircom International, New Era, Re, Zen, all of them. Thank you so much, man. And um, shout out, Mick Conlon's Fight Week. Thank you, Colin, man. Appreciate it, Hits. Thank you very much. We'll have you again on IFL TV after a Kurt Walker win. Thank you, mate. I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 